All right, let's make sure we have everything. We need our four sheets of watercolor paper, a little cup of water, some salt, our watercolors with our watercolor brush, a paper towel, and our piece of plastic wrap. So I'm writing on each of my papers the techniques that we're doing. Um, first one, I wrote plastic wrap, and then I continued writing them wet on wet, wet on dry, and salt. You can do this on the on one side of your paper with a pencil. I'm doing it on with marker so that you can see it. So label the four techniques on the four pieces of paper. So we're going to start with our wet on dry technique because we want to put our first layer of paint down and let it dry. So choose a color. Um, first, wet your brush before putting it into the paint. So wet your brush and then put it onto the paint color of your choice and fill in your piece of paper. So finish painting in your whole piece of paper with whatever colors you would like and then we are going to set that piece of paper aside to let it dry completely. So after your wet on dry paper is completely dry then um, you can pretty much just paint any designs that you would like onto your dry paint. So here I am just experimenting with some lines and some dots. And you can paint anything you like. So next we're going to do the wet on wet technique. This just means that we are putting wet paint down on the paper and we are going to add more wet paint to it before it dries. Um, so I would start putting one color down and while it's still wet, adding another color to that first color. And if you notice, I am using um, smaller spots of my paper for this because you really want to make sure that your paint stays wet. And I felt that it was easier to make sure that my paint stayed wet by um, splitting my paper up. So wet on wet off often gives like a um, an expanding look to the paint, so it moves and it gets bigger when wet on wet is put together. So there you could see that the paint really begins to expand. So now we're going to do the salt technique. Um, just like we did on the wet on wet, we are going to work on sections of our paper because for the salt technique, we also really want to make sure our paint is still wet. So here I am sprinkling just a little bit of salt onto my wet paint. So now I'm going to do this to the whole page. After you fill up your whole page, you're going to put that to the side because we want to let this dry completely also before we scrape some of that salt off. So once our salt technique paper is completely dry, we are going to go over the garbage can. I'm working at my workspace because this is where my camera is. but. You need to go over your garbage can to do this, and you're just going to use your fingers to scrape all of that salt off. So scrape off as much salt as you can. There might be a little bit left over um, stuck to the paper, but that's okay. But try to scrape as much as you can off to re reveal the cool design that it leaves. All right, next is our plastic wrap technique. And 
similar to some of the techniques that we just did, we want to have our paint be very wet. So make sure that you have your plastic wrap ready so when you put your paint down, you will be ready to put the plastic wrap onto it. So I'm going to take my plastic wrap and rip a little piece off of it. And you're going to lay it on top of your paint and just move it around a little bit. And you can tell it starts to make some cool shapes in there. So once you have it on there, don't touch it again. Leave it on there until it's completely dry. So do this to your whole page. Um, I just kept ripping off pieces of plastic wrap in smaller pieces to put them on there. Um, and you want to let this dry completely, like completely, even longer than you waited for the salt to dry. You want this to dry really, really good. Set aside when you're done. So once you have let your plastic wrap paper sit for a while to dry, then you can carefully peel off the plastic wrap. As you can tell, I didn't wait long enough. Um, I probably waited about 15 minutes, so be patient with this and wait long enough for it to dry completely. So here are all the techniques. We have wet on wet, wet on dry, the salt technique, and the plastic wrap.